DISTRICT'S DEALING WITH ANOTHER PROBLEM TONIGHT, HAND, FOOT AND MOUTH DISEASE. AND NEWS OF THIS VIRUS IS SPREADING FASTER THAN THE GERMS THEMSELVES. PITTSBURGH'S ACTION NEWS 4 REPORTER SHANNON PERINE WITH THE SCHOOL DISTRICTS TAKING ACTION TO KEEP KIDS HEALTHY. IF YOUR CHILDREN ARE LIKE MOST CHILDREN, THEY ARE NOT EXPERTS WHEN IT COMES TO WASHING THEIR HANDS. BUT IF WE ALL GET A LITTLE BIT BETTER ON THAT FRONT, MORE CHILDREN WILL STAY HEALTHY AND STAY IN SCHOOL. Hand, foot, and mouth disease sounds scary. Yeah, I guess it sounds scary, and uh, it can be when you see blisters and sores on the hands, the feet, the mouth, but really it's usually a very mild disease. Well, one, I don't want it around uh, my kids, uh, and two, it's just a reminder, you know, it's for everybody, it's important to wash and sanitize. The virus has no treatment. The fever and blisters last about a week. We bumped into one mom who's also a nurse. We've seen a few cases of hand, foot, and mouth um, at our urgent care center. Hand, foot, and mouth disease has been spotted in several area schools. And even though it's unpleasant, it's so mild, doctors and schools are not required to let health departments know when they see confirmed cases. Sure, but it's very common. And you can literally catch it from a shopping cart or um, toys at a playground. So it's very common and for the most part harmless. Sometimes we see it in elementary schools, though it is more common in little kids. I mean, they tend to eat each other's toys or, you know, get their saliva all over toys and things like that. So it spreads more easily in daycares than it does in elementary schools. One district, the Albert Gallatin School District in Fayette County, has seen no confirmed cases, but the school district has developed a strategy to try to keep students healthy. So how do you do that? Yeah, don't let them leave the house. Not really an option. Doctors, though, have discovered a highly effective way to protect yourself. It's called washing your hands longer and more often than you think you should. And don't stop preaching that to your kids. I'm Shannon Perrine, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. All right, some signs to look out for if you think your child may have come into contact with hand, foot, and mouth disease. It usually starts with a fever, lack of appetite, and sore throat. According to the CDC, those symptoms are followed by painful sores in the mouth, beginning as red spots and then turning into ulcers. Days later, a rash develops on the skin, usually on the palms of the hands and soles of the feet. Some people also get dehydrated with this. If you notice any of these symptoms in your child, you're advised to call your doctor.